Make it, play it. Hello, my name's Amber, your buddy here at the Magic Kinder Playground, and we are going to show you how to make a great musical instrument. But which one? To tell you more, let's welcome our Magic Kinder coach, Luke. Hi, Amber, and you're right. We're going to make a full drum kit, and it looks like this. But before you do this activity, please make sure that you've watched the Make It, Play It introduction video first. Let's look at the equipment you're going to need for this one. You'll need four empty pots, wrapping paper, strips of paper, modelling clay, a stick, round edge scissors, a pen, clear sticky tape, a glue stick, material, a pencil and a rubber band. Remember, if you need more time, just hit the pause button and we'll see you back here when you're ready. So, we're almost ready to make our musical instrument. But before we start, did you know? The record for the longest drum roll by one person is 12 hours, 5 minutes and 7 seconds long. Now, most of this is pretty easy, but there are a few tricky parts that you may need help with. So I definitely recommend asking for help from a grown-up when we get to those parts. Oh, and yeah, we definitely need round-edged scissors only. Absolutely, Luke. OK, so we're starting with the pots, but what kind of pots are these, Luke? Well, these ones are old porridge pots and yoghurt pots, but you can use an old coffee pot or any type of pot as long as it has a lid. So. Take us through baking our own drum kit then. OK, so first you need to cut your wrapping paper so it's the exact size to fit around your pot. Again, this is something a grown-up can help you with if you need assistance. Absolutely. So we need to attach the paper using some clear sticky tape to hold it in place. Is this the same with all of the three pots? Uh, exactly. So we need to roll this wrapping paper all the way around Fix it with even more tape and do the same on all the rest of them. Wonderful. So, what's next? Well, now we're going to make our symbol. For this, you'll definitely need a grown-up to help you. So, take a small piece of modelling clay, put it on the table uh -huh. and place the lid of your pot onto the clay. Like this. Now we need a sharp stick. I'm going to use this, a kebab stick. So very carefully, we need to push this through the lid and the clay, making a small hole. There. And now with this piece of modelling clay, we need to stick this to the bottom of the pot. So we'll put that in, and then we're left with something that looks like this. We're going to attach the kebab stick into the clay and leave it poking out pointy side up. That's quite sharp. Um, that's the top bit of the stick, isn't it? It is very sharp, so we need to be very, very careful. So once we've carefully attached the lid, we need to take a teeny tiny piece of the clay mm -hmm. to pop it over the end of the sharp stick for safety. OK, so that's our simple drum. What about the others? Aha! Now the others, you're going to decorate exactly the same, just like this. But how about the tops of the drums? Well, for this, we're going to use a different piece of wrapping paper than the one you've already used. We'll place the pot onto the paper and draw a circle around the pot, ready to be cut out. Now, when you've cut this out, you'll be left with a piece of paper that looks like this. And where does that circle go? Aha! Well, this circle goes on the top of your pot that's been undecorated. We attach it using our glue stick. So carefully squeeze some glue, glide it along the circle, uh -huh. and then with one firm press, we can stick it to the top of our pot. There. Great, Luke. So what's next? Well, now we're going to continue with the decoration. So we'll take a strip of paper and we're going to attach it to 
the pot that we've just covered. We can attach this using some of this clear sticky tape that we used earlier. So one part there. Then we're going to wrap the paper uh -huh. all the way around and attach it again using some more sticky tape like this. Can you see, Amber, I've even added some more stickers to make this great polka dot effect. That's great. And you said that you need to do that with all of your pots apart from your symbol. Is that right? Exactly. For this one, Amber, I need your help because for the symbol, we're going to add some of these shiny star stickers. So there you go. Great. Put some of these on the top of our symbol. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Brilliant. So now that we've got our drum kit, what are we going to do to hit the drums with? Very good question. And it's a very simple answer. We need to take two pencils and some of the modeling clay that we used earlier. We're going to push the modeling clay onto the end of the pencil like this. Then we're going to wrap some material around the modeling clay on the pencil and secure it in place with a rubber band. That's brilliant. There you go, two drumsticks. Great, it's time to hand over to you. Remember, you'll be using different wrapping paper to the ones that Luke's been using, so don't worry if yours looks different. Simply go for it. The instructions are coming up and have fun making your own drum kit. Remember, if you need more time, just hit the pause button and we'll see you back when you're ready. Cover your pots with wrapping paper. Carefully use a kebab stick to make a symbol. Cover the lids with wrapping paper and make a drum stick with a pencil and fabric. Decorate your drum kit with stickers. Good job everyone, you've now got your cool mini drum kit. But what use is a drum if you haven't got music to beat along to? I think we're ready for our Make It, Play It active routine. Are you ready to join in? Grab your drumsticks and away we go. It's time to get, get up and, and get, get active. active. awesome guys good job there was some great drum in there there are a lot of instruments you can make in our series make sure you take a look at what else you can do absolutely thank you luke for a great mini drum kit we'll see you back in the magic kinder playground really soon bye, bye.